So my fingers are caught in. Now I'll take again that front one and I put it through the hole where my fingers were, leaving my fingers in, which keeps the hole for the next one. And then you basically have two of these self-locking little knots. Hey, what's up guys? Coach Tom, gonna have a look today about how to tie your belt. There's lots of different ways to tie your belt. This is the way I've been doing it since I was like a, a blue or a purple belt and I reckon it's by far the best way. It's easy, it looks good, it never comes undone, but you can also undo it easily yourself. So, let's have a look. I mean, obviously, every uh, type of knot is gonna use a different length belt. Average length belt, this will tie it really well. So obviously cross your gi up, and I like to put the middle of my belt, all right, like a big moustache, the middle of the belt across the belly, and then just switch hands behind your back, and then you've got two things here. So I like to pull my right hand one about a tag longer. See like this, so my right one's longer. Then I'll simply cross them over and put that short end around and through. And then I basically pull it upwards vertically like this. Now I take that long bottom end and I'll tuck it behind that front one and pull it all the way through so my fingers are caught in. Now I'll take again that front one and I put it through the hole where my fingers were leaving my fingers in, which keeps the hole for the next one. And then you basically have two of these self-locking little knots that lock into each other. You can get it undone in seconds, but it looks good. It'll never come undone in training. Like you'll never be retying this belt. And I think it looks good, it's neat, and you'll get used to tying that one in no time, and that's the one you wanna use. So you see it comes undone really easily for you, but to tie it one more time, we just take the middle of that belt, guys, fold your gear up, okay? Some gyms you have to turn around when you put your belt on. That's a little a etiquette thing. Switch hands, get that right one longer like this, and then put it through, tie that knot so they sit over each other vertically. Tuck this one behind the front one, poke the front one through, poke the other one through, and there's our knot, guys. That bad boy won't come undone. If you're gonna learn one knot in jiu-jitsu, but you gotta learn one, do this one. All the other ones I think are a bit of a waste of time. I don't think the knots look good. I don't think they stay together well. And if they do, they're hard to get undone. This, for me, is by far the best knot. And when I first saw a uh, black belt from Brazil and he came and he had his knot tied across like that, I just thought it was badass. Like, how don't you wanna tie your belt, guys? Well. I reckon anything that's like just a crappy knot like this, so like anything with like a crappy knot and it hangs down low or anything uneven, that's crap, you don't want that guys. Tie it neat, make it look good, and then not only will your belt not come undone during rolling, but it's also gonna look nice and neat. You know, you work hard for your belts in BJJ, so why not tie them up in a way that looks good and won't come undone. See you next time, guys. Take care.